gonna discuss question 14 because it's quite um, difficult because it involves limiting written. So 18 burns in the air according to the equation below. So you've already got your balance equation. A mixture of C2H6 and O2 at 30 mm mercury and 1 to 4 mm mercury was added into the into a 7.5 liter flask at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The combustion reaction was carried out until completion. Please highlight this word. Carried out until completion. Well, this means the one of your return must be your limiting return. Okay, so you have to figure out your limiting return first. So what the question asks is to calculate the total pressure of the gas mixture obtained at the end of the reaction at the same temperature. Okay, so just calculate the total pressure. Give your answer in millimeter mercury. So the question specifically asks for the pressure to be in millimeter mercury. Okay, first thing first, we need to find our limiting return. Okay, so write down your storyline first. Okay, again, we've got C2H6 with pressure of 30 millimeter mercury and O2 with a pressure of 1 to 4 millimeter mercury. So this container, when they are mixed in a container, it has a, a volume of 7.5 liter and temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Again, calculate the total pressure of the gas. Okay, this is not a displacement of water question. So, we can be considering of using the formula of PV equal to NRT. Okay, or we can use the formula of partial pressure. Okay, so, but, uh, P Pressure of C2H6 is equal to the mole of C2H6 over mole of C2H6 plus mole of O2 times total pressure. So let's check which one would be easier for us to use to find the final answer. Okay, so if we want to find the total pressure, then volume already must be total. So your mole must be total. And, to, and your temperature must be total as well. Well, again, I said that the question will only give you one temperature. So just use that one. Okay. But if you want to use this formula to find your pressure total, then it would involve a lot of work. Okay. You've got this already, but you've got to find the mole for both rectin, which we're gonna be difficult for us because we don't have the mass so cancel off this formula we, we're not gonna use this okay we're gonna use this one the ID gas equation so first find okay check sorry so first thing first check what we have at the ID gas equation in order for us to find the total pressure okay so first rearrange your ideal gas equation. So we want to find Pt, so mole temperature times Rt divided by volume total. Second, check your info. Well, what do we have in this question? Okay, we want to find this. Do we have mole total? No. Do we have R? Yes. The temperature? Yes. Volume? Yes. So the only thing that we need to find is the mole total. It's going to be easy for us by using, again, the ideal gas equation. But, class, you must alter this ideal gas equation. Okay. So, next is we want to find the mole total using ideal gas equation. So, just change your lower subscript. Okay, so we want to find the total mole. So we know that the mole total is equal to mole C2H6 plus mole of O2. Okay, 
So your PV go to NRT. Okay, let's say we want to find the mole of C2H6. Okay, volume must be total. Temperature, okay, you can write it down as total as well because we've got only one temperature in one question. But pressure and mole must be respective to the one that you want to find out. So rearrange first. So mole C2H6 is equal to P pressure C2H6 time volume total divided by RT. So pressure C2H6, do we have it? Yes. But remember class, if your pressure must be in ATM, right? But the question gave you the pressure in millimeter mercury. So you need to convert both of the pressure given into ATM. So that would be 0 0.03947, sorry, ATM. And the pressure of O2 would be 0 0.1631 ATM. So 0 0.03947 times 7.5 divided by 0 0.08206 times temperature converted to Kelvin. So you've got 300 Kelvin. So your mole will be 0 0.012024 mole. For the mole of oxygen, that would be 0 0.1631 times 7.5 divided by 0 0.08206 times 300. That will be 0 0.04964 mole. Okay. Remember that we need to find the mole, the, which one is the limit rating. Okay. So now draw your beaker or your ratio. Well, depending on what you, depending on what method that you want to use to find the limit rating. Well, I'm used to using my beaker because I found it to be easy to have my information in, in one place so my mole provided and this is my beaker of mole needed 0 0.012024 mole this is the mole for c2h6 while the mole for oxygen is 0 0.04964 mole okay so two seven so mole needed, okay. I've I've already made a cross multiply must cross multiplication. So I've got my mole needed of C two H six as zero point zero one four zero point zero one four one eight three mole, and my mole needed for oxygen would be zero point zero four two zero eight four mole so my limiting return would be c2h6 all right class i forgot one thing okay we are discussing about limiting ration question right so your mole total okay at the end of your product okay so you got the sorry this is not your mole total okay your mole total would be Sorry, my mistake would be the mole of product, which is your product would be CO2 and water. And okay, remember that we have excess written, which is not completed at the end of ration. So you need to find the mole of excess. Oh, sorry, mole of unrated, unrated, excess written. Okay, so this is our mole total. Okay. This question is a bit hard, I know. I hope you won't appear on your in your past in your PSPM this year. So we don't have all moles, but we can find the mole of product which is CO2 and H2O by using ratio with limiting return. And for the mass of unrated excess mole, you just need to minus the mole provided. Minus the mole 
needed okay of your access rating so we found out that the limit rating is c2 hash c2 hash 6 okay so put a star on it okay so now we're going to compare all of your products with c2 hash 6 in order to find respective moles okay so first i want to find mole of co2 so for equation 4 mole of co2 is equivalent to 2 mole c2h6 okay remember class we need to take the mole provided by the limit rate because this is how much i can give you okay that's the maximum amount of mole that I can give to you. So 0 0.012024 mole. Oops, sorry. I got it wrong. This is the one that we want to look for. Okay. So from equation, your 2 mole of C2H6, C2H6 will be 0 0.012024 mole. So your mole CO2 would be 0 0.0240 for eight mole next is to find the mole of water so for equation six mole of water is equivalent to two mole of c2h6 so 0 0.012024 mole c2h6 is equivalent to 0 0.03672 mole of H2O. Okay. The last thing is to find the mole of unrated excess rectin, which is 0 0.04964 minus 0 0.042084, which is equal to 7.556 times 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. So you've got all the moles needed to find your mole total, right? So calculate your mole total. So this is your mole of carbon dioxide plus the mole of water plus the mole of unrated excess written, which gonna be 0 0.06 seven six seven six mole okay we are done to find our total mole so lastly we can figure out our total pressure okay which we already written at the top in here where is it yep in here so we've got the mole total already so yes, now we can collect our total pressure, which is the mole total times the RT divided by volume total. So 0 0.067676 times, okay, the temperature would be 300, divided by the volume of 7.5, so you've got 0 0.22214. ATM. Okay, class, please look back at the question. Okay, they want the answer in millimeter mercury. Okay, since we are using under gas equation, our pressure would be in ATM. So just times it with 760 millimeter mercury. Okay, so you've got you find answer as 168.83 millimeter mercury. So see how we're gonna how they how they combine question for chapter one and chapter five.